In this video, you will learn how object equality in Python works and how to define whether your objects are the same value or not. Consider this scenario. You have a list of employee objects. You receive a network update and employee 1 has changed the name in Vera 2. Our task is to find the employee in the list so we can update the list. But there's a problem. When Python deserializes JSON data, it instantiates a new object that is unrelated to any of the objects in the list. Let's test this. We create a class called employee and we give it an initializer with values ID and name. We store these values We create a list of employees. Now we have a list of employees that contains three employees. Suppose there comes an update from the network. The update is employee Vera. but the name is updated to Vera2. Let's check if Python thinks that the first object in the employees list is the same object as our update. We take the first item from the list and we compare it to the update. Now, if we execute this, we will see that the result is false, and you probably have expected that. Now, some might think that's because here we write Vera and here we write Vera2. But even if I change this to Vera, we will see that the objects are still not equal. I'm going to change this back to 2. So, an easy solution now would be to do this. We take the first employee and we compare the ID to the ID from the update. Now, if we execute this code, this results into true. So the comparison of the IDs, which are value types, evaluate to true. But let me show you that our problem is still there. Let's check if the update is in the list of employees. Now, if I execute this code, again, this results to false. So our goal is to get three times true here, because we think that the update is employee zero. We think that those IDs are the same, and we think that update is in the collection of employees. So how do we do that? We can do it by implementing the dunder equals method. Let me show you how. In our class, we are going to create a new method called dunder equal, dunder eq. And this method has as arguments self and another object, which in this case would be another employee. Now, what this thing does is it will return the ID of self compared with the ID of other. Now watch what happens if we execute this code. Now we get three times true. So the dunder equals method is a operator overloader. It overloads our equals operator and we can specify how we want to compare one employee to another in this case by comparing the ids 
Implementing the Dunder EQ method has some implications on hashability. The Python documentation says that if a class defines Dunder equal but not Dunder hash, the instances will not be usable as items in hashable collections. For more information about this, see the Python documentation on the Python data model. I hope this video helps you to understand how to implement value equality while writing classes.